Imagine waking up in the morning with the fear of not knowing whether or not your husband is going to come home in a good enough mood to know how to beat you in front of your children. Or picture yourself not wanting to go outside and see your friends and family because you're far too embarrassed to just see all the cuts and bruises that you have all over your body. These are some of the horrible thoughts that run through the minds of thousands of men and women that suffer and are victims of domestic violence. Dealing with and trying to overcome this type of situation on your own can be very difficult and very dangerous, and that's where Greater Avenue for Independence, or GAIN, comes into play. Um, GAIN is one of the most productive and efficient domestic violence treatment programs in the U.S., and its main goal is to better understand and identify domestic violence and the problems that occur as a, res as a res result. It's an LA County program, and it provides services for LA County inhabitants and who are currently experiencing domestic violence. The legal definition of domestic violence is that it is abuse committed against an adult with a spouse, former spouse, prohibited or person with whom the suspect has had a child, or is having a dating or engagement relationship with. 85% of domestic violence victims are women, and one in every four women, women will experience domestic violence in her lifetime. One third of female homicide victims per year in the U.S. alone are killed by an intimate partner. And the sad thing about this is that most cases of domestic violence are never reported. Um, some of the reasons why GAIN is one of the most successful programs is that it actually provides the domestic violence um, victim with an actual social worker, which is probably the best thing that can be done because there are many different types of programs out there for domestic violence victims. There's online databases, there's books, there's pamphlets. And honestly, I mean, that helps, but what helps most, like if you're a domestic violence victim, what would help you more? Someone that you can talk to, someone that you can actually say, I'm being beaten at home and I have no one to go to. And the GSW, the Gain Social Workers, they're, actually, they're not going to be, you know, they're not going to feel sorry for you, they're not going to be rude, they understand where you're coming from. And they're trained, like, on the proper way to listen and to identify with different levels of violence. And they can truly help these victims, like, get through the hard times and help them get past this and, um, they, you know, they give them um, strength and they help them move on. And one of the main problems that the GSWs deal with are that many of the victims come in with a sense of denial, and so they try and teach them and they try and let them know like what's really going on. So they have the, um, they do workshops with the, with the victims and they educate them on the different patterns of abuse and they let them know that the abuse is irregular and it becomes worse over time. And they educate them on the domestic violence cycle. And there's three phases of the cycle, and this is important for everyone to know, not just the victims. There's the tension building phase, the acute battery phase, and the kindness and contrition phase. The first phase, which is the tension building phase, it um, deals with, like the batter, it deals with everyday issues like work, children, money, and it all leads to tensions and threats and verbal abuse. <coughs> and the victim tries to ignore it and tries to be kind and to the abuser and the tension just keeps increasing and the physical abuse begins. And then the next stage is the battery stage where the abuser can no longer keep himself and they start beating the victim. And then the third stage is where the batterer comes back and starts apologizing and acts like the person that they met from the beginning. And so the victim who is afraid of being left alone or leaving their children with just one parent, they, they end up um, reconciliating and they go back to the, to the spouse. And um, see, like, this is important for GSWs and the social workers to explain to victims because it makes them really realize, like, what's really going on. And a lot of times victims are in denial so they actually see, like, it's a cycle and they keep going through it and through it and through it. And so what GAIN provides, it provides victims with free admittance to support groups, to clinics, to free medical, they have free medical attention, um, child care, free um, consultations, stress management programs and different workshops and an individually assigned game social worker, which is probably the most important part. Um, another reason why it's such a good program is that GSWs actually can call the police right then and there if you have someone coming to you complaining about or has like signs and proof of battery. And a lot of um, a lot of batters have been arrested on site because they're actually threatening the victim outside the door, telling them, if you're in there, gonna complain, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you or I'm going to beat you. And so a lot of lives have been saved um, through beatings. And um, gain workers also teach how to survive after. Like, um, they're educated on, the victims are educated on steps to survive. They're giving suggestions. They may help them to be able to leave quickly if they're in danger and it helps to encourage, encourage the victims to have positive attitudes, like 
to say to, to themselves, I can use my power to take good care of myself, and I am not to blame for being beaten and abused. And the victims are educated on restraining orders and are encouraged to go on file for one if they feel necessary. And then here are a few facts about domestic violence that the workers are taught, and this way they feel more personal and want to help a little bit more. Um, if you've heard this, like raise your hand right after each one, if you already know this. Every nine seconds a woman in this country is battered. At each day in this country, a male intimate partner beats approximately four women to death. 85% of all women with disabilities have been victims of domestic violence. See, nobody knows this, and that's the reason why it's hard for women to go out, or any kind of person that's been male or female has been beaten. It's hard for them to go out and tell people because people don't understand what really is going on. So it's a good thing about gay, and they have someone to go to. They're given a social worker, and they can actually talk about what's going on and get help for it. So if any of you truly, like, if you, anybody is suffering from this or knows a victim of this, don't be afraid to do it. There's places to go to, and this is one place that you can go to.